Despite tremendous advancements in every aspect of life, we witness incompetence daily. Our political system is fractured. Millions of cars are recalled constantly. Public transportation systems are a disaster. The airline industry is in disarray. Public education is facing a crisis. Shall we go on? Say it ain't so, Joe. Despite our astounding achievements, major hiccups are not hard to find. The country seems replete with supposed leaders who are incompetent at what they do. Having established that depressing introduction, we get to the subject of this video, the Peter Principle. The Peter Principle is a theory that explains the phenomenon where employees are promoted based on their abilities until they reach a position where they are incompetent. It was first articulated by sociologist Lawrence J. Peter and his co-author Raymond Hull in their book, The Peter Principle. In its simplest terms, The Peter Principle states that people in any given role eventually get promoted to their level of incompetence. Since the mid-1800s, the Industrial Revolution ushered in large organizations employing thousands of people, led by multiple layers of management. This offered ambitious employees a path to advancement. And so it is today. Assuming that there are enough layers in a company, the Peter Principle states that people in any given role eventually get promoted to their level of incompetence. It may take several promotions, but ultimately, it happens. It happens in sports all the time. Teams sign players for vast sums of money based on past performance, then see them fail to meet expectations. Outside of sports, a competent policeman may make a capable detective. The policeman was competent at dealing with issues encountered on his beat. As a detective, he was good at dealing with policemen and detectives. But as chief, he had trouble maintaining good relations with the mayor and the press. It required a totally different skill set. People work for years in organizations to reach a particular position, only to grudgingly face the fact that they are over their heads. The Peter Principle happens because promotions are based on current performance. You're likely to be promoted if you have been performing well in your current role. But all too often, promotions are not based on the skill set needed for the next position. Continued success will eventually land people in positions where they lack the skills required for the new role. I've fallen and I can't get up! Because they will not get promoted again, they are stuck in this state of incompetence. And here is the kicker. Since it is doubtful they will be demoted, they remain incompetent in that role. They have arrived at their level of incompetence. This implies that organizations are fraught with people who are incompetent, resulting in widespread organizational mediocrity. Originally the Peter Principle was intended to be satirical. It was a joke. But it appeared to offer insight into how organizations function. What can companies or employees do to prevent this dilemma? To guard against the effects of the Peter Principle, forward-thinking organizations should train employees after they are promoted to help enhance their chances of success. Often, however, when people are promoted from within, because of familiarity, the training is often overlooked. Lawrence J. Peter humorously suggests to avoid being trapped in a position that causes stress and unhappiness, the employee should display signs of creative incompetence. Pick a function that is not critical to performing your overall responsibilities, then create the illusion you are not good at it. This would signal that you have already reached your level of incompetence. In simple terms, if you like your job and do it well, give your boss a little reason to leave things as they are. I will keep trying. Let's close on an entertaining note. Following your other humorous principles that will put a smile on your face. If anything can go wrong, it will. Sincerity is the secret of success. Once you can fake it, you are good to go. If the facts do not back up the theory, they must be disposed of. Everybody lies, but it doesn't matter because nobody listens. Which one do you like the most? As promised, we did it in 5 minutes. Now the big question is, what do you think about the Peter Principle? Does it hold any weight? Let us know what you think by posting a comment. You can download the complete Peter Principle book free by following the link in the description. Oh, that's a good deal. If you like this video, subscribe to Explaining Difficult Stuff. It gives us the incentive to keep reaching out to people of all ages with our videos. Thanks for watching explaining difficult stuff. By the way, there is no cure for curiosity.